For it TV, the world is thinking. One of the things I discuss in my next book, I studied religion a little bit. I don't believe in beliefs, by the way, all right? I don't believe that we humans use belief to act. I think beliefs have some other purpose. But the problem that I find very inconsistent, and I don't know if some of Dawkins' friends or these guys are here, I find extremely inconsistent to be suspicious of the bishops, okay? Uh, here, this is an orthodox service, because I'm orthodox. So, be suspicious of the bishop and be a sucker when, when it comes to the stock market, okay? Or listen to the economists. I don't understand what metrics, double standard you're using, okay? When, you know, uh, Dawkins was saying that these, guys, these people have double standards. He's talking about postmodernists. He said, anybody riding a plane to go to a conference, okay, when they doubt the laws of physics is a hypocrite. To me, anybody invested in the stock market who is critical okay, of religion is a hypocrite. Okay. You either, I mean, that's my point. Is there's nothing wrong about being critical of religion, but you've got to go all the way. By, you, so what happens is our skepticism is domain dependent. And we're going to test it. There's a very easy metric for me to test skepticism. It took me a while to figure it out. You show things to see if people see false patterns or not. And we're going to be testing. I have a little uh, lab in London, at London Business School with uh, Dan Goldstein. And we're going to test to see if religious people are more fooled by randomness outside religion and vice versa. Okay. So it is, it is a problem, substituting religion with CNBC stock and some... You know that the, st the stock, mar stock market analysts, okay, they're worse than nothing. <laughs> a lot worse than nothing. Okay. So there is an inconsistency there. And, and, and incidentally, I figured out one thing, is that medicine, you know that medicine for a long time, you had an expert problem in medicine. You still have some expert problem in medicine. Medicine killed more people than it saved, particularly in the late 18th century, uh, late uh, 19th century, okay, till discovery of penicillin, okay? And why? Because of something I call the illusion of control. And if by going to a doctor, by going to a doctor, you, 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 you know, you wanted to do something, going to a doctor to do something, you hurt yourself. So going to a, a, the temple of Apollo or something like that, or any form of religion, so long as it takes you away from a doctor, it's going to be beneficial for you. <laughs> All right? So that, that's, that's the idea of religion. People don't, that's, I have a notion of religion that sort of conflict with the rest.